Which would be a pain for her. It would be a colossal pain for her. Do you even have a driver's license? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. You, you, this is a story that you get a fucking doozy out of, so. Oh strap, boy. Strap in. Uh, so, hold on. Let me move to my phone because I want to go get water. You're good. I'm also sending you uh, the uh, the uh, page I made for, like, supports and Don't stuff. And, like, yeah. yeah, so. I, I, I liked, I, th I thought it was a good idea for me to, like, have, like, yeah, what pick a service that you want. If you want to support me on something you already have an account on, here's your options. I prefer Ko-Fi because they take, don't take any of my fucking money, like, goddamn Patreon or Twitch or Discord. Oh, but, yeah. Because you're not going through the third-party payment providers. It's going right directly to you. Yeah, That's the, why. The Stripe takes, like, a penance, but, like, who gives a shit? Hell, the fucking Ko-Fi was how I was able to do the subathon and afford um, copper surgery. Good. But, um... But, uh, by and large, the, so the story of, how, of like, my fucking, um... Uh, driving. So, in the great state of Delaware. One uh, moment. I haven't moved to my phone yet. Good. You know when you're ready. You'll hear me disconnect. Quickly. Change audio output. Alright, go ahead. So, in the great state of Delaware. Uh... There is, we have, luckily for us, um, driver's ed. Driver's ed is provided mm -hmm. in public schools to all students. When you graduate Delaware, like from a high school in the great state of Delaware, so long as mm -hmm. you weren't a fuckhead, you will have a learner's permit and a driver's license. Okay. For so, absolutely so, free? Absolutely free. You don't pay a thing for it so long as you like... You know, pay like the fee at the DMV to get the fucking license. The education uh -huh. is all it is all inclusive. It is literally just a it is a marking period of like actual driver's ed that mm -hmm. it in um in like the first in like in, in during your your uh, sophomore year, and then once you turn sixteen, there's a second half of it which is a driver's portion. They give you something called a blue slip after you completed it. This this is shown mm -hmm. that that in a, a, somebody in charge, the person in charge of the curriculum, has written off that you are competent enough to drive, that you are safe to go on the road, and then what you do is you just go to the DMV, you hand them this blue slip, and they hand you back a Class D license. Oh, they don't do that here in England. Uh, my mother was explaining that when she was a teenager, that's what they also did. <laughs> Yeah, well, Delaware still does it, thankfully. And so... Well, no, not my state. My state's a bitch. Yeah. Well, so and so basically, you so basically, this makes it so kids and families uh, don't have to pay both time and money to have their kids learn how to drive. Ahead of time. It's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It is... It's a little it, bit easier on people. And also, because it is, the, the curriculum is fairly... Like, it does a lot to, like, sort of, like, scare people into, like follow the fucking rules uh it makes it so um you know if you our, our, to our, work our, our, to learn how our drivers shit, you need to our drive well. yeah the, the, the teenagers coming onto the road off rip are generally like a, a little bit better than folks who, who just went to the dmv and, the um, and paid for lessons yeah right so so essentially uh that is how our system works unfortunately um I have, like, I was, I, the game for me was great from the start. I am a year, was a year younger than every other person, except one person, in my entire grade. I was born in November of 1997, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, uh, my parents thought, foolishly, I was smart in their waspy hubris, and put me into pre-kindergarten... At three years old. I was actually in pre-K and like two at two. So so you so you understand like the difference between a three-year-old and a four-year-old is huge. Wait, hold on. Hold on, let me think about this for a second. But regardless. I'm supposed to graduate 
I was supposed to graduate this year. So that's 12. That would, I was put in pre-K, I think, when I was three or four. Right. So, so, so I was put in when I was three. And so I was smaller I than it. No, I, 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 I was a smaller kid than everybody. Three K K one. No, it was three. Wait, yeah, hold, so, I'm regar regar regardless. I am recording 13, this first segment. I am recording this first 13, segment. So, um, regardless, I, I would have been. I would have been four when they put me in pre-K. Right. I was a. Now think about the difference between a three-year-old and a four-year-old, and have a three-year-old mm -hmm. being around and treated equally as a bunch of four-year-olds. I was developmentally. A year behind everybody else and so thank god growing up i was a tall i was a bigger kid so i looked older than i actually was the problem was is that mentally i was always a year behind everybody and that and that doesn't help the fact that i was on i had a diagnosed autism yeah. adhd the whole fucking bitch yeah the whole shebang <laughs> so what happened was is that well everybody in 10th grade was getting their uh you know blue slips and like they they do it like you know maybe first marking period you know second mark period third mark period they're like doing their driving you know all of that is very fresh i have to wait until my junior year a full calendar 365 days plus 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 because i took driver's ed in like september october of of 2011 i believe and i didn't get onto mm -hmm. the road until spring of 2013. So, what happened? Did you was, not renew your driver's license since then? No, I had my Class D license. I got my Class D license because uh -huh. so so I I somehow passed the driving portion somehow, even though I was rusty for a whole fucking year and I hadn't uh -huh. just studied or done shit for it. Regardless, I get my blue slip, and then because my parents are like are like you know you know, are like, are very co like negative consequence oriented. And we're trying to do anything to get my grades to make, to turn me into an honor student because they demand, because they demand, because that's all they fucking demanded of me. Um, uh, -huh. uh they said, well, be, until your grades get up, we're not going to take you to get your driver's license. And I'm just like, okay, I didn't really want to fucking drive anyways that, that much. Like, it wasn't super important to me, but then uh -huh. once one time, then, you know, Summer's here. My mom is working, and, and no, we're like I think no, we're not summer here. We're like I think uh, three. Uh, it's like May. It's like a what? It's it's like it's like a oh, Saturday in May, in, mm -hmm. in 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 May of 2013. And I say to my mom, "Hey, mom, you know that my blue slip has a expiration date, right?" And she says, "No, it doesn't." And I'm like, "Yeah, it's like eight weeks." And, and I'm like, no, she's like, no, it doesn't. Why would it have an expiration date? And I'm like, go look at it. Call my bluff. And she called my bluff and lost. So now my mother takes off work uh. on a Wednesday. Thankfully, I'm off too because I think we're on spring break or some shit. And uh -huh. we have to go to the DMV. To get your driver's to license. To get my driver's license because they decided to wait the whole, the, basically until down to the wire, the eight week expiration date on the fucking blue slip because they were trying to get me to get my grades up. Because, like, I'm like, listen, you listen, you, you put me into, like, at one point, you put me into a fucking room with only a, a with, with nothing in it except for a book, a lamp, and like my clothes. And you, and that didn't get me to get my fucking grades up. So what the fuck do you expect this? To do? You know, that's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what ends up happening? I, I had a person like that, and I did get my grades up, and then my d grades tanked as soon as I left his guy because I was like, I'm not fucking sitting there doing his fucking way. Once I left his house, I was like, oh hell no. Yeah. Fuck so, that. So, so so basically, so basically, um, we get we get it. You know, all, whole day wasted. Whatever. You know, fine. Whatever. So then the next part of this is is done, where you have to continue your education with it. You have to go out on the road and practice and like use it, like you know, like keeping up, like you know, like it's it's a learned skill. You have to practice. By this point, I had not been behind the wheel of a car since like March. It's May at this point when we got my license, and mm -hmm. I think my stepdad took me out to a parking lot once or twice, twice, uh -huh. two times, and then my grandfather drove down from Concordville. And took me out twice, two weekends in a row. 
And then after that, um, they just didn't. They never let me behind the wheel of a car. They never put any kind of effort. I said, "Hey, like, shouldn't I be like trying to drive or something?" And then they did, and they were really like, "Oh, we'll get, we'll, we'll do it." They completely dropped the ball. So, fast forward yeah. to like twenty seven. It's like fast forward to like fucking twenty sixteen, like twenty uh, fifteen or some shit. Uh, yes, yeah. I have a seizure. I have a, like twenty seventeen. I have a seizure. It gets reported in the system. It gets reported in the DMV. I get a fucking letter in the mail saying, "Hey, Evan." You uh, you you need you can't you're not allowed to use your driver's license unless you fucking get you like a thing. And I'm like, I'm I'm living in a place with a bus stop right outside, and I walk to school every day. I don't need a fucking car. Who gives a shit? And so I just ignore it because I don't because it doesn't matter. Uh, a year later, I'm behind the wheel of a car with my stepdad when I would go to visit him. He takes me out to drive once in the automatic car that they have, like fine, like saying like, oh yeah, we kind of like dropped the ball and we never like took you out I'm like great let's do it and then he takes me out once and never does again mm -hmm. and then uh fast forward to 2021 i get it i get i'm getting I, i've moved uh i've moved i need to get a new id with my actual address on it and mm -hmm. uh i get to the dmv and they're like hey uh we actually can't give you a new license because you had a seizure in 2017 and never did the work for it, and you're supposed to surrender your license, so you can't actually can't get a license. And I'm like, all right, can I just get a free ID then? And they're like, yeah, sure. And I surrendered my license and got a free ID because at that point in my life, I had I can count literally on one hand since I've had a license the amount of times I have been behind the wheel of a motor vehicle, and mm -hmm. my, and I wouldn't trust myself on the road. And this is the end of all of the fucking things that my parents have put me through in my life in terms of, like, angst and shit. This is the one thing that I can nail them on, and they and they can get mad that I'm bringing it up, but they can't say shit because they, because they own up to the fact that they fucked up. And I, there, when you are, when you are, uh, when you are, when you have something on your parents that they fucked up on, and they can't say shit to you about it. Mm-hmm. And they can't pretend it didn't happen. You will hit them in the face with that. You'll throw that in their face every chance you have, and it is the most righteous feeling on the planet. Yeah. 